Hey guys, this is Josh, the Not Any Know It All, coming to you with part two of my Memories of Baseball series I'm doing here on the YouTube channel. Now, not not sure exactly how many of these videos I'm going to do, or you know, maybe I'll add some next year or the year after that. I don't know. Uh, but before we get into that, if you guys could take a moment, uh, hammer the like button down below, leave a comment with some of your favorite memories you've had in baseball, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way we can. Uh, keep having these interactions these fun times and it really does help the channel when you guys subscribe and like and comment on these videos so First of all, you know my last one I did was about meeting King Griffey jr. When I was like 11 years old Great story this next story you know, my, my baseball memory jumps way into the future it actually jumps into 2012 uh, it's one of my favorite memories related to baseball uh, in 2012, my oldest daughter was born. She was born uh, April 30th, and, you know, obviously April comes late in the college baseball season and, and right before minor league baseball season starts and all that stuff. So uh, for a while, I didn't really go to a whole lot of games. Went to a couple here and there, but, you know, not a whole lot. And honestly, at that time, I wasn't going to as many games as I do now, but I was still going to games on a regular basis. But we wanted to do something fun as a family because my wife had been kind of cooped up in the house, uh, obviously, for, you know, the entire month of May. And so we decided to go to a Mariner game uh, up in Seattle. They were playing the Dodgers, which the Dodgers rarely come uh, to Seattle, especially even though interleague play seems to rotate. It seems the Dodgers never really make it to Seattle very often. So uh, since my brother-in-law, Kelly, is a diehard Dodger fan, um, we know we knew that family they were all going up there So we decided to go up there as well. We decided to go up and make a weekend of it um, So we went up there the very first game that we went to was actually my daughter's first baseball game ever It was her first baseball game. And so it was kind of a cool little thing. We went up to we were on the 300 level uh, We got cheap tickets. We didn't care, but you actually could get a first game certificate That was cool got it Got her name on it, the date on it, all that type of stuff, and it was fun. You know, that was my daughter's first game, first major league game. Uh, here it was. They're playing the Dodgers, which was very cool for me because I'd been to spring training uh, before that and gotten to get some autographs and uh, of some of the Dodgers players. And you know, they're they're pretty cool guys. I liked them. They were fun to interact with as a fan. And first inning goes, second inning goes, just normal whatsoever. Uh, fifth inning, I believe, uh, the Mariners pitcher, Kevin Millwood, actually had to get pulled from the game because he got hurt. Okay, so, I mean, that happens. Pitchers get hurt, get pulled from the game all the time. Not a big deal. Uh, so they bring their next pitcher. And game goes on. And, you know, I'm watching the game kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the game, not really paying attention to the scoreboard, you know, kind of just sitting back goofing off and enjoying a, a nice evening in Seattle. It was actually pretty nice up there. You know, sixth inning went, seventh inning went, and my wife was kind of getting tired of being in the bleachers. My daughter was starting to get hungry and, and tired, so uh, they actually went out to uh, the van. And, and I was going to go, too, uh, until I realized, I think Kelly told me this, there was a no-hitter going. The Mariners had a no-hitter going against the Dodgers, and I was like, what? I can't go. I got to stay here. And so my wife, who... Although she was tired and my daughter was tired, she said, just stay here. I'll go out to the van. So she went out to the parking garage, uh, laid my daughter down in, in the car seat. And she actually just laid the chair back and was relaxed and just, you know, took some time. So Kelly and I are, are were, we end up going down to the 100 level. We're out there. And remember, Kelly's a diehard Dodger fan. Mariners are probably his number two. Um, so for him, he doesn't want to see his Dodgers get no hit. But at the same time, he wanted to see a no-hitter. So he's actually, you know, just like me, we're, we're cheering the Mariners on. We're every strike, every out, we're just going nuts. And when the final out came and the Mariners no-hit the Dodgers, all oh, the place erupted. It was crazy. It was just amazing. And here it was, my daughter's first baseball game, period was a no hitter and uh, man, I was, I was so pumped. So I actually got the, the next day, uh, Kelly and I got there kind of early 
and we rushed in the second we could. The second the gates opened, we were the first ones down to the dugout. No one else was even keeping up with us. We were just off. And Kevin Millwood was actually kind of going in. He had been kind of stretching out his, I think he hurt his leg um, the night before. And he was kind of walking in and, you know, wasn't really happy. But at the same time, he was, you know, he was kind of like frustrated with his injury. And we asked him for his autograph. And he kind of shook his head and was walking in. And he saw me holding this. And I asked him to sign it because yesterday was my daughter's first ever game. And when he saw that, he said, okay. And, he, and so he actually signed this for me. He signed something for Kelly as well. And then he went the day. He only signed for us too because we were really the only ones who rushed down there. But he signed this. And so we got him. And then I started getting some of the other guys who had pitched that night. At this point, I have all but one pitcher for the Mariners that game who have signed this. Uh, I don't have Steven Pryor. And what makes me mad about that is I actually had a chance to get him at spring training. Um, he was signing autographs, and I had stuff for him to sign, and he signed it. Because um, I thought I'd already gotten him on this, and I hadn't. And so I went back and saw this and realized that I hadn't got him, that he was the last person I needed to complete the, the whole thing. A um, little bit of a bummer, but at the same time, that was my daughter's first game. She has autographs from the pitchers who, th who are part of the no-hitter, and it was just... She'll never remember it. She has no recollection of it. it. means nothing to her. But for me, it's huge. I was at a no-hitter. Um, you know, I'd been, in, I'd been in one when I was like, when I was playing in Babe Ruth. Um, I played shortstop, and my team threw a no-hitter. Um, didn't realize we had a no-hitter until after the game. But So I, it wasn't my first no-hitter to be a part of, but the first Major League one, the only one I've ever been at for a Major League level. Uh, a couple weeks later, actually, uh, I took my daughter to the Corvallis Knights and was watching a game and photographing uh, there and left the game about the sixth or seventh inning because, you know, I've got a pretty much a newborn with me. And so we, we go back home and I find out the next day that there was no hitter there. So in the first like four months of my daughter's life, she was involved. She was there during two no hitters. Um, and it's just like. I go my whole life never watching a no-hitter, you know, in person and get to see two of them in the same year uh, that my daughter was born. So that's one of my favorite memories. I love that. Once again, means nothing to my daughter. She doesn't care. Doesn't mean a thing to her, but it means a lot to me. That was my first experience as a dad at a baseball game, and it was just amazing. It was just amazing. So, guys, that's my second memory that I have uh, to share with you guys. It was a fun one. Love it. Talk about it all the time. Uh, but once again, if you guys have a memory you guys want to share, leave a comment down below or or email me. You know, if you guys want to write a story about something you've experienced in your life when it comes to baseball, heck, I'll put it on the website. You know, that's I love having stuff like that on the website. It's fun. It makes people smile and enjoy the game of baseball. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you guys to talk about my memories in baseball, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day.